In the labyrinthine halls of the abandoned hospital, the zombie hunter pressed forward, his footsteps echoing the relentless march of a man on a grim mission. The hospital's corridors, swalled like the veins of some forgotten beast, twisting and turning as if trying to hide its darkest secrets. As he ventured deeper into the heart of darkness, the oppressive weight of the place seemed to grow heavier, settling on his shoulders like a shroud. The hospital was a place where despair had taken root, where the cries of suffering still lingered in the air. The hunter's very soul bore the indelible marks of countless horrors, a testament to the price he willingly paid for his relentless pursuit of the zombies who had now become a plague, infecting hundreds of people with the flesh-eating nanobots. The scars on the hunter, told tales of past zombie encounters, each more terrifying than the last, and the haunted look in his eyes revealed the toll it had taken on his spirit. Questions loomed like spectres in the back of his mind, swirling around his motives like restless phantoms. His next target was a male zombie nurse, once a symbol of care and healing, had morphed into a wretched manifestation of pure malevolence, draped in tattered scrubs and a malevolent, bloodshot gaze. To the zombie hunter, he was an abomination that needed to be eradicated from the face of the earth. Revenge was an ever-burning fire within him, stoked by the searing memories of a loved one lost to the male nurse's ruthless transformation. But the motivation ran deeper. In the eyes of the zombie hunter, there was a dark, twisted form of mercy. He didn't just see monsters in the infected, he saw victims of a horrific fate, and he believed their suffering needed to end. The origins of this nightmare had roots in a day no one would ever forget. An unmanned alien spacecraft had crashed in a remote farmer's field, releasing an ominous orange-marked canister. The farmer, captivated by the allure of the unknown, had reached down and grabbed the canister, from which a green and yellow slime was oozing out. In an instant, his fate was sealed. The canister had split on impact, and was oozing a viscous slime. It was discarded alien waste that concealed flesh-eating nanobots. In a matter of minutes, the farmer was transformed into a grotesque zombie, a being compelled to infect others with the insidious nanobots. Weeks turned to months, and the epidemic swept across the nation like a relentless storm. The infected, now hosts for nanobots that devoured them from within, became a terrifying army, hungrily hunting for human flesh. The world was a desolate, unforgiving place, with no refuge to be found. Amidst the chaos, the zombie hunter emerged as one of the few survivors and a tireless defender of those clinging to life. Every step he took, every room he searched, was a reminder of those he had lost to the nanobot plague, each memory a ghostly specter urging him to continue. The zombie hunter raised his weapon, his hands trembling, as his motives swirled in a tumultuous sea within him. He knew that his quest was not driven by a single purpose but by a complex, intertwined web of profit from the bounties on zombie heads, a burning thirst for revenge, and a cruel, bittersweet mercy for those he sought to release from their torment. The male nurse, on the other hand, his humanity long since consumed by the nanobots, was driven by a relentless, mindless hunger. As he entered the room, his senses were on high alert, but even the most experienced hunter can be caught off guard. 
In the dimly lit space, the male zombie nurse materialized from the shadows, with surprising speed and agility. As the two combatants released each other, the room became a battleground of despair, still echoing with the sounds of their struggle. The hunter's heart raced, knowing that escape from this living nightmare was now a matter of life and death. But the struggle had changed the dynamics of their deadly game. The malevolent nurse, now wounded and enraged, was no longer just a pursuer. In this moment, the hunter had become the hunted. The male nurse, though grotesque and tormented, displayed an unexpected resilience. It was as if the malevolent virus that coursed through his veins had granted him a perverse form of strength. Almost instantly, the malevolent specter of the zombie nurse manifested before him, its grotesque form oozing malevolence. The hunter had, in a swift twist of fate, transformed into the prey. The zombie hunter's employers, a consortium of entrenched mega-wealthy people, enlisted individuals like him as their pest exterminators. Thus, safeguarding their opulent estates from the relentless march of the undead. The hunter understood that his employment was not a singular, straightforward endeavor, but a complex, intricate web, driven by the bounties the mega-wealthy paid him for each dead zombie. He had already relinquished all he held dear, watched it crumble to the insatiable tide of the apocalypse, and now, his motivations were a fusion of avarice, vengeance, and a somber, paradoxical compassion for those he yearned to emancipate from their ceaseless suffering. Seeking sanctuary within another desolate chamber, the zombie nurse nestled himself in a corner, seemingly resigned to his impending doom. It was as though he had surrendered finally to the fate of his own death. A shroud of silence descended, a shadow of foreboding. For now the zombie hunter had lost sight of the malevolent nurse. Over the passing months, the zombie hunter had employed an array of strategies in his unyielding quest to vanquish the relentless undead scourge. He had tried mowing down large groups of zombies, engaged them with flamethrowers and corrosive chemicals, but none of these tactics seemed to be effective in quelling the relentless zombie blight. However, just a fortnight earlier, as he scoured through the remnants of an abandoned shooting range, he chanced upon a concealed cache of the radically invasive projectile, the so-called R.I.P. bullet. A mere week ago, with his ammunition rapidly depleting, he resorted to firing a few of them in sheer desperation, viewing it as a daring gambit. In a miraculous twist of fate, he had managed to annihilate a handful of zombies. His triumph came at the cost of venturing up close and personal, requiring him to place three or four rounds squarely in the zombies' heads, rendering his task perilous in the extreme. As the zombie hunter entered, the room itself seemed to hold its breath, as if this very walls were about to now witnesses an unholy sacrament. In that fateful moment, when the trigger was squeezed, a deafening report of gunfire shattered the silence, and the room was enveloped in an eerie stillness that mirrored the finality he imposed upon the zombie nurse. Beneath the facade of a relentless and ruthless killer, the zombie hunter bore an unwavering purpose, to stalk and to slay, to purge the world of this zombie nightmare, one undead creature at a time. As the echoes of the gunshot faded, the malevolent presence that had cast its oppressive shadow over the hospital for an eternity dissipated, evaporating, like a malevolent wisp. The zombie hunter's journey was far from its conclusion, and the darkness within him still clung like a sinister spectre. Nonetheless, he pressed onward, cognizant of the horrors yet to confront, and the souls yet to save.